Welcome to a brand new episode of the best Nova Launcher setups. And for those who are new to the channel, this is a series where I find my favorite home screen setups and showcase all of them within the one video. And it's actually now a series that I do only one episode of per year. And so as such, you can be rest assured that the setups featured are gonna be of the absolute highest caliber. As always, each of these setups have been taken from my very own home screen setup app called Palette, which I'll leave a link to down in the description below. And in case you didn't know, if you have Palette installed, then you can actually click on any of the setup links below to open them directly within Palette, which gives you quick access to all of the assets needed to recreate each of the showcase setups. And just an FYI, I'm not gonna be walking you through how to recreate each of these setups in this video. So if you are looking for guidance in that area, then I'll leave a link to a video that'll walk you through the process up in the cards and down in the description below. But with that being said, here are my favorite Nova Launcher setups for 2024. Okay, kicking off the list today is an incredibly visually striking setup submitted by regular contributor to Palette, Admiral Eason. And I mean, if this setup doesn't impress you, then I don't know what will. And for those concerned with how complex this setup looks in terms of setting it up, well, fear not because that wallpaper is doing pretty much 90% of the heavy lifting for us. We can actually download the wallpaper directly from Palette, which makes things super easy. And from there, once you load in the backup file, all that's left to do is to set up that clock widget at the top there, which comes from the Oreo KWGT pack, and then that battery indicator widget down the bottom there, which is a modified widget from the tile UI for KWGT pack. Oh, and these black buttons over on the side here, they are actually app icons, and they're from an icon pack called Letters, and I literally almost forgot to mention these because they tie into the wallpaper so well. But yeah, a fantastic setup that I reckon looks amazing. All right, second up today is this beautiful light theme setup called Artwork New Morphism, which was created by another regular contributor to Palette, Zephy Setups. And unlike the previous setup where the wallpaper did most of the work, this time a lot of the heavy lifting is done by the widget app, which is called Cloudy for KWGT. There's actually two widgets from this pack here, widget number eight for the top time, date and weather widget, and then widget number 24 for that app icons widget at the bottom. As far as that image widget goes, well, technically it's not actually a widget, it's actually embedded into the wallpaper file itself. However, if you did wanna make that image widget customizable, then there is a widget called CL18 within the Cloudy for KWGT app, which you can modify fairly easily. And that in combination with a completely plain version of the wallpaper also available within the Cloudy KWGT app will give you a customizable version of that image widget, which is pretty neat. Either way though, it is an incredible looking setup and I am a big fan. But if you're looking for a darker theme setup, then you may just wanna consider this one called Minimally Blue, submitted by Shanto Raman. This is a seriously gorgeous setup, and aside from how good it looks, it's also really simple to recreate. The wallpaper is available to download directly within Palette, and then that date and time widget is from the Floral KWGT pack, it's widget number 26, and then the icon pack is from the Neon Material U icons pack, and all of these elements combined look seriously incredible. Next up, we have a beautifully vibrant setup called Geometric, submitted by another regular contributor to Palette, Mango Setups. And I have a real soft spot for this setup because I feel like it has old school vibes about it. Like it'd be the sort of setup I'd see in one of my early Nova Launcher setup videos from like six or seven years ago, but it still feels very modern and very clean. The wallpaper comes from the Wallops app. It's called Eggnog Space. And then that date, greeting and weather widget is widget 34 from the Floral KWGT app. Then at the bottom, we have six vibrant icons from the Corby Icon Pack, and that's all there is to it. Then we have another light theme setup called Inkwell Harmony, which was submitted by Raghav Karana. The wallpaper is from the Japes Ink Icon Pack, and that's also where the icons are from, which keeps things fairly simple. And that app is actually completely free, which is hugely appreciated. And then aside from that, we have a date and time widget in the middle there, which is widget 067 from the Clear KWGT Pack. Excellent stuff. All right, halfway through the list, and next up we have another beautifully immersive setup from Amaral Eason called TR Circuit. And this is one of two teenage engineering inspired setups by Amaral, and I just love how this one looks in particular. 
Again, that wallpaper is doing like 80 or so percent of the heavy lifting here. And it actually comes from a seller who goes by the name Code 188. And this is a wallpaper from a pack of 13 very similarly vibed wallpapers. But yeah, this wallpaper seriously rocks. Then we've got three separate widgets that make up the rest of the setup, all of which somehow suit that wallpaper literally perfectly. So that time and system information style widget at the top there is from the Elements KWGT pack. It's widget 166. And man, I can't get over how perfect this widget is for this setup. Then for the date widget towards the bottom here, it's from the Minimal KWGT app and it's widget 40. However, keep in mind that it has been edited quite a bit. And then in a similar way, those icons down the bottom are from a widget called D underscore 148 from the Duck KWGT app, which has also been modified a fair bit. And on top of the various edits that have been made, all three widgets have also had their colors edited to match the orange accent color found within the original wallpaper file. And if you're wondering what color hex code to use, it's FE6A00. So it is one of the more complex setups to recreate, but well worth it in my opinion. After that, we've got another dark themed setup called Abstract Blur. This one was also created by Zephy Setups and as a nice contrast, is much simpler to recreate. The wallpaper is available to download directly from Palette, which is fantastic. And then aside from that, we have two widgets from the iconic for KWGT app here, a date, time, weather, and battery percentage widget up the top, which is widget 51. And then we have this Atlas widget down here, which is widget 53. And just an FYI, if you really dig these sort of all-in-one widget-based setups that don't rely on icon packs and so forth, then lots of the setups provided by Zephy Setups fit that description. So are all well worth exploring. But if you're wanting something a little brighter, then might I suggest this setup by Kit Kat Sojib called Cute Home Screen Setup. And not only does this setup look fantastic, it's also possibly the easiest to recreate out of all of the setups featured in today's video. That amazing wallpaper is also available to download right from within Palette. I mean, I just love wallpapers like this that have one bright vector style element in the middle and then nothing at all around it, which is just perfect for creating really clean yet still super unique home screen setups like this one. Then the rest of the setup is all just one self-contained widget called Widget C56 from the Crown KWGT pack. And that's what's so great about this setup is that once we've applied the wallpaper and this one widget, we get an incredible setup that looks like this and it took literally less than a minute to complete. Okay, second to last today is another super clean and minimal setup from Rughav Karana. And I've got to say, if you like super clean and minimal setups like this one, then you should definitely follow Rughav in Palette because he's probably one of the best at making them. Once again, the wallpaper is available to download right from within Palette. And then we have this really neat calendar widget at the top here, which is widget 77 from the Color Dots KWGT pack. Then down towards the bottom there, we have a music player widget, which is widget 80, also from the Color Dots pack. Then at the bottom, we have five app icons from the Bubblegum Glyphs pack. Oh, and check this out. If you're looking for a dark mode version of this setup, have a look at that. Rughav has actually made one for that exact purpose and all you got to do is just download and set the dark version wallpaper accordingly and that's it. And so finally today we have possibly the cleanest home screen setup that you'll ever come across called Porcelain by a creator who goes by the name Silk. And I've had this setup saved to my favorites in Palette for like a year now, but have never quite had the guts to try and recreate it. And a big part of that was that it was actually originally made using Niagara Launcher. But just for the sake of this video, I decided to take the time to not only recreate the setup, but I also decided to do so using Nova Launcher. And as a result, I've added the backup file and a couple of other handy assets to this setup within Palette to make recreating it yourself way, way easier. The wallpaper is yet again available to download directly. And the only other apps that we need is the Material U Dynamic Icon Pack and the Android 14 widgets for KWGT Pack. From there, you'll need to actually use an app like Photo Layers to remove pretty much everything from the background image except for just a couple of foreground components. However, I've also taken the liberty to upload my own edited PNG file to this setup, which you can download by tapping this foreground components button. Then once you've restored the backup file, you essentially just need to load in the clock widget from the Android 14 widgets for KWGT pack. Then you just need to tap this plus icon here, then select this image option, then tap to 
open it, then tap on pick image and select that recently downloaded PNG file. Then you just need to increase the width to about 700, give or take, then adjust the Y positioning to around negative 25. Although keep in mind, these numbers will be slightly different depending on the phone that you're using. But you essentially just need to trial and error these settings until things line up. And once they do and you've saved your widget, you get a very clean, very cool looking depth effect style home screen with this singular app shortcut to the Google Messages app, which you could of course change to whichever app that you like. And no, it might not be a super functional setup, but by golly, does it look freaking amazing. But there you have it. Those were my 10 favorite Nova Launcher setups out of all of the setups featured within Palette across the past year. If you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. But that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.